Now they will exchange the stones. Ke Jie versus Alpha Go. Now I announce the official match. Hua 老师，我看现在比赛正式开始了。我想今天在座的各。Yeah. Um. So we can start. Yes. Okay. So I'm Michael Redmond. Um. I'll be the commentator for this part of the game, for the first part, and. Hi, my name is Stephanie Yin, a uh, one-time professional. I will be another commentator mm -hmm. to the game. Yes. <coughs> yes. Um, so, okay. Uh, we'll just follow the moves for a bit. Okay. And, um, yes. So, could, uh, Stephanie, I, I hear that you know KJ. Uh, so, could you tell us about KJ, the player, the human player? Yeah, sure. Uh, KJ, uh, if I remember correctly, KJ was... Uh, born in 1997, so now he's about 20 years old. Yes. Uh, he became pro in 2008, which the next year I became pro. And we actually studied from the same school and mm -hmm. graduated from there. Oh, yes. Yeah. The same go school, right? Same go school yeah, in yes. Beijing, yes. And he was, when I, when I was becoming a, a professional go player, he was this time. <laughs> he was already, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he yes. was like uh, around like 10 years old. Yes. And, but he was very uh, hardworking person. Kid. Mm -hmm. He studied mm -hmm. life and death and uh, played games all, all the time. Yes. So I guess that's the reason why he become very, very strong nowadays. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, he's the top goal player. Mm -hmm. okay. So what would you say about his style? Um, I... Um, I'm not sure about right now, mm -hmm. but before, I think he's uh, very balanced. Mm -hmm. He likes to attack and uh, focus on the territory as well. Mm -hmm. um, but I think maybe now he's more uh, toward to attacking styles. This mm -hmm. is the point of my view. I'm not sure yet. I agree so with what that. Do you, what yeah. do you well, think about that? He started out with a very well-balanced style. Mm -hmm. um, but I do think that he has changed... Um, he's changed a lot since the Master Games, actually, the Master Games six months ago, mm -hmm. um, because he has been trying to pick up on that, and he's been uh, using a lot of Master's moves, especially quite recently. It, it seems to make the games actually more difficult for him to win, because he's o already been a very successful player. Mm -hmm. um, but he is trying out a lot of the moves that um, AlphaGo or Master showed us uh, mm -hmm. six months ago. So he's, he's already sort of collaborating with Master um, before the match. And he's trying, maybe he was trying to find weaknesses, but maybe he's trying to learn stuff from, uh, from Master Alphago, also. Yes. Yeah. And I, I sort of like to call AlphaGo Master because uh, Master was so different from the AlphaGo before. So it's kind of a habit I've developed. But okay. since, um, since it's being called AlphaGo here, I should probably go back to AlphaGo. Okay. And look at that, he's played a 3-3 mm -hmm. three, three point. Um, so this is already, yeah. playing the 3-3 three, three point there is already very unusual. Mm -hmm. um, for, it's not unheard of, like there, um, there are a number of historical players who like to play the 3-3 three, three point, mm -hmm. um, but not so many. Right, uh, it's mm -hmm. more uh, concentrate on the territory. On territory, right? yes. Yeah. Um, because Master, um, as I always, I, I sort of talked about it a little bit in the pregame commentary, but um, Master, although it starts out playing for thickness or playing towards the center of the board, it can very quickly switch that to a territorial game, and it's very good at doing that. Mm -hmm. um, in general, I think um, AlphaGo is very good at changing its tactics midstream because um, that has to happen in a Go game because all of the information is on the board, like you can see what your opponent is doing. And so among skilled players, um, you can virtually see what your opponent's plan is. Mm -hmm. Now the three, four point there. Yes. Um, no, it was the three, 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 four point. Yes. Three, four point. Yes. Okay. And so it's for skilled players, it's quite common for one player to um, sort of refuse to go along with the opponent's plan. Yes. And then at that point, the, the player has to change his plan to fit. To and so yeah. you don't, it's not really very good to be fixed on one, one strategy. You have to be very, very flexible. And AlphaGo is like that in that it's flexible um, in changing its style in the middle of the game. It's kind of a, another strategy to play against different people, right? Mm -hmm. 
And so this is already very different from any of the games that was, were played in these 60 games, in that Black has played a 3-3 point. Um, he's sort of, I think Kate is trying to take territory um, just to make sure that AlphaGo doesn't go for the territory in the middle of the game, just to keep a, a lead in territory, maybe. I see. Interesting. Mm. The time, uh, uh, the time this t uh, for this match is three hours each. Mm -hmm. Is uh, a little different from the the game last year. Yes, I mm -hmm. think with uh, you said all it was more like two hours a piece. Right. Yeah, and so the lo more time, um, the better for the human player. I think the more opportunity think to more for the player, because I think it in um, it depends on how they've set the time control for master. But so far we can see that master is just using something like a minute for each move. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, just doing it that way, Master will not even come close to running out of time. Um, whereas the human needs, especially playing against AlphaGo, the human needs um, a lot of time to a catch up. A lot of time, yeah. yes.